Welcome back to Coaster Type of the Week. Today, we're going to talk about the Schwarzkopf Looping Coaster. Schwarzkopf is a now defunct German manufacturer of roller coasters. It is very famous for several rides such as Revolution, now New Revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain, Super Duper Looper at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and Mindbender at Galaxyland Amusement Park. Enthusiasts know these roller coasters as some that you can use to get used to your first inversions, whereas at the same time getting a fun, thrilling ride. There are a few real-life Schwarzkopf looping coasters in the game. This is the previously mentioned Revolution Six Flags Magic Mountain. Looking around here, it's a terrain coaster, and it uh, goes uh, into many spirals like this, as well as through its very famous loop. It is the first modern steel coaster, actually, to have a vertical loop. And this one is called Shockwave at Six Flags over Texas. It is a much shorter ride than Revolution, but people who have ridden it say that it's very intense and fun. Now let's take a look at the designs here. This one right here is based on their shuttle loop model. An example of this is... Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm in California. It starts with a very intense flywheel launch into a vertical loop, and then you go forward and reverse on its spikes. This I like to use in scenario play with very little space. Black Panther I don't think is very realistic. It It's too compact. One thing I noticed by Schwartz Golf Coast is that uh, they can be small or big, but not too small or big, and they're not too compact to like, the number of loops is okay as well as the turns, but short scoff coasters never had a loop around the chain lift. Bumblebee, I can't even see, or deep freeze. Exterminate, uh, this is a first game version, the second game version. This one is alright, uh, as well as Fizzly, uh, Fizzly is pretty good too in terms of realism. And that's an expansion back one. Glowworm, uh, a little bit too long. Let's see, right here it's uh, 3,602 feet, and the track is too close together. And that one is ugh, a mess. One thing about these coasters that you saw in the real world parks is that it's not heavy on airtime hills. Yes, there could be some airtime moments, but it's not through camelback hills. It's through uh, turns and gentle slopes down rather than these specific hills. Rattlesnake, I think, works well. This is the real world shockwave. This is a very famous design amongst Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 players, but in order to make it the most realistic you can, you should make a spike right here and set the launch to passing station. And Stingray is. It has a reverse chain lift. Schwarzkopf never did that. And uh, this one is based. It's not exactly, but it's based on their triple looping model like at uh, Galaxy Land. Don't ask me why it's called that. Uh, but yeah, th this is very good. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes short scoff coasters have curved lift hills and many block sections and also three loops in this formation. Oh, and that's Turbine, which is like shuttle loop. This is actually in the game in Six Flags Belgium, now called Wallaby Belgium. This is it in the park. And of course, these are all the really weird kinds that appear in Bulgus Tycoon Deluxe, and I have no idea where they came from. I'm glad I get a visual with Oprah <gasps> Okay, in all seriousness. Hey, what the hell? Here's my take on a Schwarzkopf looping coaster. As you can see, I've made the hill sort of high, but not too high. This, I believe, is 70 feet above ground, as well as making more variety of turns rather than just simple camelback airtime hills. I made plenty of turns, plus a loop. I could have added a second one somewhere, but anywhere between 1 and 5 is what Schwarzkopf did to his coasters. And by his, I mean Anton Schwarzkopf, a very famous coaster designer. And as you can see, it worked, and the stats are pretty good. 
So thank you all for watching my video on how to make realistic short scoff looping coasters in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Have a great day.